Hello, welcome back. We're talking about the group by function again. I'm going to talk about the sort order argument. And I've got a query here, which is group by, I said query, it's really a formula. I am grouping by the year of the order date, uh, category, subcategory, and then I've got sum and max of sales amount. If you don't know what all this is, please look at my previous video on the group by function. Today, we are just going to talk about the sort order argument which is the sixth parameter. And that is this one here. Currently, I've got it set to three. Just have a read through these. It's a sixth parameter. It's optional. Each column has a number. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got five columns in my output. There are five numbers. We can either sort by a single row field or an array of row fields or a single value column. These are the value columns, four and five. But the important thing to remember is if we don't sort a field, it retains a default sort order. That's actually very similar to how pivot tables work. Currently, I've got it sorted on column three, and you can see that it's sorted in ascending order, but it has not changed the order of the years because, as I mentioned, if we don't sort a field, and I'm not sorting one, it retains its default sort order. If I use a negative number, that indicates descending. So if I put negative one, that will be descending year, and 2014 is now at the top. The others retain their default sort order. So accessories uh, is first in category because that's ascending. This is also ascending. However, let's try an array. We wrap an array in braces and we separate items by comma and we put minus two to have descending category within each descending year. So now clothing is first and then accessories in 2014 and then it's 2013 and then it's clothing, bikes and accessories and so on. But note, that we haven't sorted column three, but it retains its default sort order, which is ascending. If we put negative three in there, that will sort that in descending sort order. What does this mean? Well, it means that you can put an array to sort the grouping fields, but it does not uh, necessarily intersperse rows with each other. If you were to just sort descending on uh, subcategory, the years still stay together and the categories still stay together. That's the way pivot table works. That's the way this works. I would prefer it to simply sort subcategory in descending order, but that's not the way that it works. Maybe that will change, maybe not. The next thing I want to talk about are value fields. Now this, I'm, I've put this note up here as of November 16th, that's today, because things will change. There's a beta release, it might change. If you sort by a value field, it automatically introduces subtotals. So in this example, I'm sorting on negative four, so descending sum. I have not indicated anywhere in this formula that I want subtotals or grand totals, but it, it has definitely put them in there. You can see this is a subtotal of bikes in 2013, and here's the accessories in 2013, and here's the 2013 subtotal. So what is actually happening here? Well, it's introduced the subtotals for year and for category, and it is then sorting column four, in descending order based on the outermost uh, grouping fields subtotal first. At the top is 2013 because the subtotal for 2013 has the largest sum of sales. Underneath that is 2011 because 2011 has the second largest sum of sales. And within 2013, the category with the largest sum of sales is at the top of 2013. So that's bikes and then it's accessories is next in 2013, and clothing with 323,806 is the last category within 2013. So that's what I mean when I say it is sorted on the value field in subtotal depth order, which is a phrase that I totally made up and probably will not make sense to anyone unless you've watched this video. So that's, uh, that's what happens when you sort on a value field. You cannot sort an array of value fields. Just as an additional note to this, um, it adds these automatic subtotals and then sorts by subtotal depth order, as I just mentioned. If you want to remove the subtotals, you can explicitly put a zero in the fifth argument, and that will set don't show any subtotals or no, gr and no grand totals. So if I do that and save it, the subtotals are gone, but the sorting is still based on subtotal depth order. So 2013 is still first and bikes is still first within 2013 
and then within bikes the largest value is then first because I'm sorting on sum of sales descending. Going back to sorting on row fields I've got this example here where I am sorting by ascending year, descending category and descending subcategory and as you can see it works. Uh, let's look at 2012 because that's got three categories. Um, we're ascending year and then clothing, bikes and accessories underneath. Within each category it's in descending subcategory order so that's all good. What becomes a problem is when I add subtotals and grand totals. If I use minus two as the fifth argument to this function, it should add subtotals and grand totals above each category. And it does do that, but for some reason, it then changes the sorting of the categories. So now I have 2014 at the top instead of 2010. And I don't really understand why. It is not sorting on any value fields. And anyway, 2014 is the smallest value field. And 2013 is then 16.3 million. But then the one underneath that, 2012, is 5.8 million. So there's no real rhyme or reason to that that I can see anyway. That seems to be affecting the first field only because the second field is still sorted in descending order within the year and the third field the subcategory is still sorted in descending order within the category. I just wanted to point this out to you again this is as of November 16th 2023 things can change this will probably and most certainly be tweaked uh, before it is released to general availability. That's all I've got to say about the sort order argument of the group by function for today. Thank you for watching have a great day.